general, I'm pretty misunderstood, and I don't, I don't fault anyone for that because I do come across pretty stern. Um, and that's just the way I am. I'm, my mom used to say that when I was little. I can't change that. That's the way my face is, and, and I'm a pretty determined person. So I think that's where my reputation comes from, and I can't change that. My reputation as a bitch is <laughs> huge. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Canada's Yasmin Gori is the first to admit that she'd never win any popularity contest, but that was never her goal. In 1988, she quit school and set off for Europe to become a model. After only two years, she'd achieved supermodel status, and she's been there ever since. Her exotic beauty is one reason, her fierce determination is another. See the shape of my lips now? Yeah. When I put lip liner, it kind of like changes the whole shape. Yeah. So if you'd like it like this, maybe we should just like put like a gloss with some color and a right. liner. That's right. Uh, this one has the top. What? This one has just on the top again. Right We're doing a uh, German Vogue cover with Yasmin, yeah, for, um, for June. She's honest, uh, direct. She's tough, so some people might find that. Tough. Yeah, I mean, she's, yeah, she's tough. But we, you know, we, we have a good working relationship, so. Does it come through in your photos? Um, it comes through definitely in the ease of taking them. I mean, we shoot, when we work together, we work really fast. In school, I was like kind of the skinny, ugly, you know, everyone like used to pick on me for being skinny and call me too thick and... So, I mean, it's probably a defense mechanism to walk around with my head up high and, you know, so that people would just leave me alone. And so what a lot of people see as toughness or, res I mean, that's, it's really reserve. It's like a defense. She's sexy, exotic, and intense. Too intense for some people's tastes because Yasmin Gori is also careful about who she works for, what she models, and how she's photographed. But for Yasmin, being choosy is just being professional. Well, I know what I want. And so I have very strong opinions, I suppose. And I'm very direct, so that kind of goes with the tough. So, so people maybe don't always agree with things I have to say. It's important because it's my face, and after a while, I feel like I... I own it again. Like when you start, you just give yourself up to everybody and... Hello? Hello? Yeah. And you just start realizing that maybe yeah. they're not doing the best thing for you. And after a while, you just try and look after yourself because it's your... I mean, this is... I'm, I'm my own investment, so if I don't look after myself, nobody else will. I don't really like my pictures to begin with, so I usually end up looking at it and I'm disappointed. Why don't you like your pictures? I don't know. I think I like myself more in person. I don't... I, I can't relate to the person in the magazine. I don't think it's me. There's a big scandal over your commercial. Huh? Yes, my mother heard it on your program. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and gave me hell for it. <laughs> no, because my parents hadn't seen it, and I didn't really want to mention it. And then they saw it on TV. They, they watched it every Sunday, hoping they'll see, like, a glimpse. And, and they saw that program, I was like... <laughs> My father wanted to disinherit me, basically. He's like a, a preacher mm -hmm. in his uh, religion. So, you know, basically, it's, it's horrible what I'm doing. I'm the black sheep. You know, it's like he's trying to live his life, and unfortunately, I'm trying to live mine, and it really clashes. I think about it every single day. What do I want to do with my life? I have no idea. If I did, I would pursue it right away. I would. I want to do something that feeds my brain. I just feel like every day um, this business takes a little bit out of me. So, um, you know, you just try and keep on top of things. But uh, I don't know what it is. I wish I knew.